Hey guys, so today I'm doing my week 24 update of pregnancy. So I haven't been on here in a while and this is for weeks. Like this is for we up to week 24. I'm going to be 25 weeks tomorrow. Um, so this is going to cover though the last few weeks because a lot has happened in the last few weeks. So the first thing that was huge was I quit my job because one, it was very um hard like for me to keep doing and so and I was experiencing like stress and anxiety and um some depression and like I just realized I was so overwhelmed and I needed to make a change so that lifted a huge weight off of my shoulders so if you feel like you know you need to make a change you need to figure out um what you need to do because that really helped me I was having bad cramps every single day and the second I quit my job, it's like my body felt like it was healing again. So I guess I just need more rest. So that's the first thing. The next thing is that I faint if I don't eat enough. So like not like a full blown faint, but like I start seeing stars. I like get very dizzy. I start sweating. And so I realized this week that I need to eat bigger meals like in the morning especially because I was eating cereal and it just wasn't enough like I ate cereal the other day and then I went to Target and I like could barely walk to the Starbucks to get a water I was like just dragging my feet and I was like oh my gosh like something's gonna happen they're gonna call 911 and I finally made it there and I was like thank god so um it's just crazy how your body changes so quickly because I had been eating cereal for the last two months and now my body like needs way more so now I have to eat like eggs and an English muffin and all that so going back to that I'm super hungry all the time now so week 24 I've just been starving every single day and it's like I can't get enough food I can't get enough water I can't get enough of anything it's like I need so much stuff so now I'm trying to um, make sure I always have what I need my shoulders hurt every single night like because I sleep on my sides because we're not supposed to sleep on our back and like every single night I wake up and my sh this shoulder hurts and I roll on this side and this one hurts and I roll back and it's so frustrating because I just want to sleep on my back and um, I can't so sometimes I'll lay like on my back but like tilted to the side <laughs> But yeah, it's like my shoulders every single night. I don't know, like it's like the joints are so loose that it just, it hurts. So a couple of weeks ago, my right boob was rock hard and like it's so much bigger than my left. And I was like freaking out and it felt like an implant. And I was just like, what the hell? Like it didn't hurt. It just felt like a rock. And I talked to my OB about it and she said that she thinks that I was engorged already. I'm like, what the hell? And she said I might start like producing milk sooner. So, but that the next time it happens, I should come in. So, um, thankfully it hasn't happened. Like the next day it was like softer again and everything was fine. I've had really bad congestion for the last three and a half weeks. At first I was like, oh, I'm getting a cold. Well, it's just never gone away. It's like my nose is super stuffy. I'm constantly like coughing stuff up, but I don't have a cough. So there's been nights where I've like had to sit up like propped up with pillows and just to breathe out of my nose. So that's been kind of hard sleeping. Um, the smallest tasks get me out of breath. Like I literally can go downstairs because our house is three stories. I'll go downstairs to check the mail and I'll come up the stairs and I'm just dead. Like I'm just like so out of breath, so tired. I'm like literally like, I mean, even talking right now, I'm out of breath. So that's, it, it's frustrating. Um, I think one of the reasons is because since I am not allowed to lift more than 10 pounds and I'm not allowed to work out to where I'm out of breath, I am more sedentary now. So when I'm not moving a lot and then I do move, it's like my body is just like, what are you doing? So that, that's just been challenging. My hair is growing so fast. I just got it colored less than a month ago and there's already roots like it's just it's growing so fast which I mean I'm enjoying but I also don't want to go to the salon anytime soon because I hate getting my hair done. 
I have so many veins on my chest now, like, and especially now that I'm not using self tanner, um, I'm so, I'm very pale. And so you can see them, they're just like blue, like bright blue, and they're like thick though. And I feel like sometimes when I'm wearing a shirt that's like lower cut, it's just so obvious and it makes me a little insecure, but I mean, it is what it is. This one is kind of weird. Um, I don't know what it is, but like if someone bothers me with drama or like tries to start drama, I just, I don't have time for it at all. Like I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to hear about it. Like I just, I can't. Like I'm just like, I don't have, I already have enough going on over here in my own head. I don't need like anyone else's drama. And like, so it's like this, I don't give up attitude. A couple of weeks ago, I was having these really strange like pelvic vibrations all day. Like every time I exhaled, it just felt like this like humming or buzzing like hmm, like in my pelvis. And I told my OB and she was like, I don't know what it is, but it's fine. And it lasted for like seven days. And now it's gone though. So I'm so happy because it's so it was so frustrating. Every time I would be like sitting or standing and I would exhale, I just would feel this humming. Or even when I went to sleep and it was just like this vibration. It was so annoying, but it wasn't painful. Every time I shave, I feel like my skin is so dry now, like my legs get razor burn. So it doesn't matter if I use shaving gels or soaps or whatever, like my legs constantly feel like they have like dry patches and like some razor burn. So I hate shaving my legs now. <laughs> but I mean, thank God it's like the fall, so I can just wear leggings, but like my poor husband. <laughs> I've noticed the hair on my arms and my stomach are like longer. Like I've never had to shave my arms my whole life. Like my hair is, it's like white, but it's like getting so long and like even on my stomach, like I'm just like, what the heck is that? I know it's like the hormones, but it's just the most bizarre thing. Like I'm not gonna like shave my stomach or something or my arms. It, and it's not like they're dark or like very noticeable, but I notice it, so. Some days I'm super motivated to get stuff done, and then some days I wanna do absolutely nothing and I just wanna like watch Netflix and chill for real. My appetite hasn't really changed. I am not eating well. Um, I eat protein, fat, and carbs, but I'm not eating like any vegetables. I've been craving milkshakes and smoothies like almost every single day. It's like I want something cold and like liquidy I don't know I don't give in every single day but like it's like on my mind all the time I noticed that she's moving all the time and like well okay I noticed that she's moving a lot and there's days though when like she doesn't move that much it freaks me out and then the next day she'll be moving like all day long so I've noticed like in the last couple of days it's been more consistent I feel her moving more I think it's because she's gaining more weight but like, there were some days where she wasn't moving and I would just be like a hot mess, like wondering like if she was okay. I noticed if I don't drink enough water that my hands get really swollen, my, but my feet don't get swollen. And then the other thing is if I don't drink enough water, I get cramps in my lower stomach. So I'm always like, even if I forget to drink water, like my body tells me you need water. This last week I've been having really bad belly button pain and it just feels sore all the time. It feels really stretched out. Um, I don't have like an Audi or anything like that, but like I just feel like my belly button cannot stretch any further. So it looks like really tiny. It just looks like a pinhole right now. <laughs> but um, it's just weird though, because it hurts. Like if I touch it, it hurts. So I just try not to touch it. Or if I like roll over something and I'm pressed against my bed, it hurts. So I just am trying to be aware of that now. I still haven't worn any maternity clothes except for um, some maternity leggings that I bought. But everything else, I've just been wearing my regular shirts, like really stretchy fitted shirts because I feel like they're the most flattering. I feel like if I wear something baggy, I just look like a huge potato sack. So that's it. And I recently bought these um, yoga pants on Amazon. I will link them below. They're so comfortable and like you can just fold, they're like a with a band that folds down 
and you can just like fold it over your bump and they're just so soft and comfortable and they're only $15. So that's what I've been working with for a while. Right now in my pregnancy, I am in a place where I just want supportive comments and like, I don't want advice. Like I just want someone to be supportive. Like if I tell you I'm not feeling well, like I just want you to say like, I just want like someone to be like, you're okay or like it's gonna be okay. I cannot stand when other moms are like, just wait, just wait, it gets worse. You're never gonna sleep again. You're never gonna do this again. I'm just like, yeah, I get it. But like in this moment when I'm feeling bad, like I just wanna be lifted up. Like I don't wanna like already be dreading something else. Like I need support right now. So it's just frustrating when everyone is like so excited to tell you the negative parts about being a parent it's like hi i went through fertility treatments and like i wanted to be pregnant i want to have a kid i don't think it's a walk in the park i have no idea what it's going to be like but i also don't need like anyone trying to like freak me out about stuff like i have enough on my plate <laughs> so yeah being a first-time mom people love to tell you if they've already been a mom, like what you shouldn't spend money on and what you should spend money on. And one of the things is they're like, don't buy clothes. Well, I wanna buy clothes. Like she could be my only child and I just wanna have fun with her. So, I mean, just do you. Like if you wanna spend all of your money on your baby's clothes, do it. <laughs> I'm still getting round ligament pains, but they're like worse now. Like if I get up out of bed really fast, I will like scream. It feels like in this like it's usually on my lower right side it will be like just so painful like it'll feel like a Charlie horse like in my stomach and I'll have to I'll like cower over until it like goes away so that is the only thing that's like very painful when it happens but it'll last like two seconds I'm still on Lovenox and progesterone and baby aspirin um, I'm going to be on Lovenox until week 36, and I am currently weaning off of progesterone, which kind of freaks me out, but everything's been looking good, so I'm going to try to trust my doctors and just know that everything's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the last symptom update that I have right now. I'm so excited to get into week 25 and 26. I just feel like now I feel like the weeks are starting to fly by, like we still haven't done the nursery yet or like there's a long to-do list and I can't do anything without my husband because I can't lift more than 10 pounds. So that's like frustrating, but I'm just so excited and I'm happy that we're getting closer to meeting her and yeah, so I will update you um, again on my symptoms as everything goes on. Thanks guys. Bye.